Bonjour. There's a group of words in French that end in al, and the plural is not al with an s. There are one or two you'll see at the end, they are more exceptions than the rule, because generally al in the plural goes to o. You're going to practice the pronunciation of them today and just say them after me and let's do this. We'll also look at how you can remember this. Very easy technique on remembering your French vocabulary and to avoid brain freeze. Here we go. Now, animal, animaux. Local, locaux. Journal, journaux. Cheval, chevaux. Hôpital, hôpitaux. Signal, signaux. Canal, canaux. Bocal, bocaux. Minéral, minéraux. Principal, principaux. And let's look at a few exceptions. Festival, which is so common in our happy lives here, goes to festival. One to remember. You're going to a party in the evening, a dance party. It's un bal, des bal. And similarly, carnaval, carnaval. But if you look at all three, they're all related to partying and dancing. So there's a relationship between them. Now, how do you remember this? Well, just learn the words that are important to you at first. The point of learning is to be able to use it in spontaneous conversation. So cramming a load of information into your head is not really going to help you. So it's the application. So we're going to vocalize the sound, speak it out loud, singular, then plural. Just practice. Let's go back on one. Here we go. Principal, principaux. And then apply it. Les points principaux de la leçon aujourd'hui, c'est le pluriel des mots al, c'est o. There you go. And just apply it. The best way to learn something and fix it in your head is to teach somebody else. If you can explain it, it's in there. Oh, better still, if you can explain it without looking, they're the ones that you're going to be able to recall spontaneously. You might like writing. I find it helps tremendously. So write them down, visualize them, but please speak them out loud because speaking out loud helps you remember as well. Uh, if you're listening, if you're working on your plural sounds, oh, listen out for them because suddenly you're aware of things more so when you're learning. And it's very rewarding when you hear it thinking, ah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Now, don't worry about things that don't follow the rules. If you forget, most French people will help you. They will correct you. They will support you. They will give you a chance to say it again. And if you don't understand the word because it's one you've just asked for an explanation, they will help you learn it. Basically, if you get stuck on something, it's just a learning curve. And it's a reminder that you're ready for the next step rather than thinking that you failed something. The next step is repeating it and trying a different way to learn it. I say, learn it, speak it, live it. It really matters that you don't just cram, you actually absorb the words and use them in your daily life somehow. So don't just practice that list and do nothing with it. Find one or two that you think you will use and put them at the forefront somehow, post-it notes, writing it down in a book, uh, up somewhere and practice. Live your French. Don't just keep it in a vocabulary list. If you're struggling to speak French spontaneously, why not look at my free masterclass to help you work out just what's holding you back and bust through to enjoying your French speaking all the time. And in there, we have an opportunity to look at Conversation Cafe as well. 
There's more to this free masterclass than you think, and it will certainly help you realise what's holding you back from those beautiful, spontaneous conversations you're after. <laughs> Merci et à la prochaine. Thank <laughs> you.